Have you noticed that things seem a bit more expensive these days? Indeed, the rising cost of living in 2024 is not a figment of your imagination. It's a harsh reality that many of us are grappling with. From the food on our tables to the gas in our cars, prices are climbing at a rate that's hard to keep up with. Let's take a look at some concrete examples. Remember the days of affordable grocery trips? Well, those days seem to be fading into the rearview mirror. Food prices have shot up significantly. Eggs, butter, flour, you name it, all have been affected by various supply chain issues, including avian flu and conflicts affecting grain markets. And it's not just about the groceries. Eating out, a pleasure many of us once took for granted, has become a luxury. The rising cost of dining has forced some households to reconsider their spending habits, even to the extent of foregoing the purchase of real Christmas trees, which, believe it or not, have also seen a price hike. Now let's talk about travel. Surge in demand for airline travel last November led to a significant increase in airfare prices. Delta's president reported record revenues in the second quarter of the year, a clear indication of how the return of tourists is impacting prices. But perhaps the most noticeable change is at the gas pump. Gas prices have spiked due to geopolitical tensions, notably the Russia-Ukraine conflict. While predictions suggest a potential stabilization, the impact on our wallets is undeniable. Then there's the housing market. With skyrocketing rental costs, the dream of a comfortable abode seems more elusive than ever. Even home values have shown a decline in recent months, marking the greatest annual loss since the global financial crisis. So, why exactly are we experiencing these price hikes? Let's delve into the underlying causes. Inflation, a word we often hear but might not fully understand, is at the heart of the matter. To put it simply, inflation is a measure of the rate at which the general level of prices for goods and services is rising. Picture this, you walk into your favorite coffee shop to buy your usual cup of joe. But today, it costs a few cents more than it did yesterday, and the day before that, and the day before that. That, my friends, is inflation in action. The Federal Reserve, the Central Bank of the United States, has a target inflation rate of 2%. This might seem counterintuitive. Why would we want prices to rise at all? Well, a little inflation is seen as a good thing. It encourages spending and investment, which supports economic growth. However, when inflation begins to climb too high or move too quickly, it can become problematic. That's because it erodes the purchasing power of money, meaning your hard-earned dollars don't go as far as they once did. Today, we're seeing inflation rates that significantly deviate from the Federal Reserve's 2% target. Analysts are predicting a peak, but a slow return to the target rate by 2024. This deviation is causing a ripple effect throughout the economy, leading to rising costs in areas like housing, food, and travel. And it's not just the coffee shop where you're feeling the pinch. It's at the gas pump, the grocery store, and the real estate market. Inflation doesn't just materialize out of nowhere, it's driven by several key factors. Stay tuned as we delve into the causes of inflation in our next segment. Let's take a closer look at the factors driving inflation. The causes of inflation are multifaceted and often interlinked. They can be traced back to a variety of sources, from geopolitical tensions to supply chain issues and the aggressive interest rate path set by the Federal Reserve. Think about gas prices for a moment. They've been on a roller coaster ride recently, haven't they? This is not a mere coincidence, but a direct result of geopolitical tensions playing out on the world stage. For instance, Russia's invasion of Ukraine sent shockwaves through the global economy, causing a spike in fuel costs. These geopolitical events can have a profound impact on commodity prices, fueling inflation. Now let's shift gears and consider another everyday essential, food. Have you noticed the price of eggs, butter, and flour creeping up? This can be attributed to supply chain issues. Let's break it down. An outbreak of avian flu can affect poultry production, leading to a decrease in the supply of eggs. Similarly, conflicts affecting grain markets can cause a surge in the cost of flour. These supply chain disruptions can lead to increased costs for producers, which are then passed on to consumers, contributing to inflation. Lastly, we cannot ignore the role of the Federal Reserve's policies in this inflation narrative. To combat inflation, 
the Fed often adopts an aggressive interest rate path. While this strategy aims to stabilize the economy, it can also lead to increased borrowing costs, which can indirectly contribute to inflation by increasing the cost of goods and services. Inflation is like a puzzle, each piece playing a crucial role in creating the bigger picture. From geopolitical tensions to supply chain disruptions and monetary policies, each factor intertwines to drive the inflation rate. Now that we understand the causes, let's explore how this impacts you and me. Inflation doesn't just affect the price of your morning coffee. It has far-reaching implications. When inflation ramps up, the cost of living for the average consumer goes through the roof. This is not just about you paying a few extra cents for a cup of joe or shelling out a bit more for your favorite brand of bread. It's about the cumulative effect of these rising costs on your everyday life. Consider the rental market, for instance. When inflation is high, landlords often hike up rent prices in response. This leads to a crisis where many people are priced out of their homes, leading to increased eviction rates. Can you imagine the stress and uncertainty of not knowing if you'll have a roof over your head next month? That's the harsh reality for many families during periods of high inflation. But the effects of inflation don't stop there. Back to school shopping, a time that should be filled with excitement and anticipation becomes a source of financial stress. Parents across the nation find themselves struggling to afford the higher costs of school supplies, uniforms, and textbooks. And these are just a few examples of the many ways in which inflation can hit your wallet. And it's not just about personal finances. Inflation can also lead to job layoffs and even a potential recession. When businesses face higher costs, they often have to make tough decisions to stay afloat. This could mean cutting back on staff or reducing hours, leading to job losses. And when businesses struggle, the economy as a whole can take a hit. This can lead to a vicious cycle of job losses and decreased spending, potentially triggering a recession. Inflation can feel like a daunting force, but there are ways we can navigate it. Inflation might be a reality, but that doesn't mean we're powerless. In fact, we can use a few strategies to navigate through these turbulent economic waters. One of these is budgeting. In times of inflation, keeping a tight grip on your finances becomes even more crucial. It's important to track where your money is going and identify areas where you can potentially cut back. This could mean eating out less or swapping that gym membership for home workouts. It's about making smart choices that help your money go further. Investing is another key strategy. While the value of money may be going down due to inflation, assets such as stocks, real estate, or commodities often increase in value. It's a chance to protect your wealth and potentially even grow it. But remember, investing always comes with risks. So it's crucial to do your research or seek professional advice. Understanding market trends is another important part of navigating inflation. This involves staying informed about what's happening in the economy, from interest rate changes to shifts in the job market. With this knowledge, you can make more informed decisions about your finances, such as when it might be a good time to buy a home or change jobs. But perhaps the most important strategy of all is staying proactive. Don't just wait for the effects of inflation to hit you. Instead, take action now. Start that budget, look into investing, and keep up to date with the economy. Inflation might be a tough opponent, but with the right tools and mindset, you can certainly put up a good fight. Remember, knowledge is power. The better we understand inflation, the better we can navigate its challenges.